on this episode of South of Mr. Ease. You want me to be George Washington? I don't know. I, I don't have anything in my office that would work to be George. Oh, I just happen to have this hat. And this wig. Um, good thing we've been doing all these characters last week, and I've been keeping these things. How does Sata clean these huge 40-foot buses? Every day, they travel miles and miles of road gathering dirt and grime. Do they have a little army to clean the buses? Let's find out. But first, a short history lesson. My dearest Clara, I hope this letter finds you well and in good health. I must implore you with stories of our travels aboard a young Lincoln's tour bus. And our many roads traveled on our way to Fort Lawrence and made worse by recent rains and travel across the Ohio River. Lincoln's tour bus has amassed a large amount of dirt and debris. To make a good impression upon those valiant soldiers at Fort Lawrence, Lincoln needed a solution and fast. Luckily, his good friend, General Walsh Hington, had access to a bus wash located in Canton, Ohio. The good people at Sata graciously welcomed our presence and our tour bus on such short notice. Within a matter of seconds, miles and miles of dirt was washed away and we reached Fort Lodge in a shiny clean bus. We will be forever grateful to those at Sata and their bus wash. I will write again soon. All my best. Sincerely. Major pain. Well, there you have it. On Sota's property in Canton, Ohio, they have their very own oversized bus wash. Cleaning the buses at Sata helps to preserve the longevity of the vehicles and also helps prepare them for the road ahead. And there you have it. Another mystery solved. Join us next week for another episode of.